Let's talk about the kiss. I know. It's like, Daniel must be your brother at this point, so was it awkward at all? It was incredibly awkward. It was like, yeah, it was like some weird social experiment, it felt like. We grew up together, and then they were like, okay, kiss. It's, it was weird. But, um, I mean, Dan's very chatty and, like, friendly and funny, and we just kind of laughed about it, which was, which was nice. For so the gazillion ones. Yeah, it could have been worse. For the yeah. gazillion girls who are watching this, wondering if he's a good kisser. He is a good kisser. I, I can I can definitely vouch for that. I wasn't concentrating whether or not he was a good kisser. I was more <laughs> focused on like what I was doing and trying to make it look realistic. But um, yeah, he's a good kisser. He's a real he's a gentleman as well. You know, like once the kiss was over or when before we were doing it, he was very considerate and sweet. So. And do you prep for it by like banaka or? Uh, I prep for it by cleaning my teeth a lot. That's um, amazing. gum, mints, just like eating, kissing friendly foods. And I guess. Either he in an interview the other day he was like, yeah, Emma's an animal. God, I know. Everywhere. I saw this interview when I was here in the hotel room, and I go, I know that's gonna get picked up everywhere. Oh, it did, it did, and everyone's asking me about it, and I like, I feel embarrassed. I find myself defending myself, <laughs> which is ridiculous, but apparently he meant it in a good way. <gasps> Um, but yeah, no, he, um, I guess I just like, I figured out pretty early on that, you know, in order for us to get this, get it done, I had to like go for it and make it look real. So I was like, right, rather than do like 20 takes and David be every time like, can you give it a little bit more? Can we, can we get a little bit more passion? I was just like, right, I'm just going to like, just go for it. Go for it. Yeah. Well, it was realistic looking. Thank you. I want to go back to this movie and Deathly Hollows and the kiss with Emma Watson. Mm. Was that awkward at all? Because you guys grew up together, like sort of what we would think is brother and sister. Yeah. I know. It, to be honest, it wasn't too awkward. It's quite enjoyable. Um, I, I quite liked it. It was, um, <laughs> I'm, I, I, I'm, I hope she had a good time as well. She said you were a good kisser. Awesome. That's fantastic news. That's, that's really <laughs> good. Cause, uh, no, that, that is good. And she's very good as well, my dad. It's, it, it, you know, it was passionate. It was really, it was great. I thought it was going to be a sort of slow, soft, shy kind of thing. But no. No, that, that that went out the window very quickly. It was vigorous. It was great. And everyone's talking about how you called her an animal. I know, I know. You're like, God, well, the foot things you regret saying. Why? Because I it wasn't it. even bad. It was just picked up by all these other animals. Exactly. Elements. That's the thing. Is because somebody said to me, so, so, you know, she's a bit of an animal, isn't she? And I went, oh, yeah. So I just agreed. And by my consent, I, she, gave, she, gave me a, she gave me a bollocking yesterday for that.